Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show on this uh, January the 16th, Monday. Thank you for tuning in. I'm glad to have you guys here. Now listen, this is a very important show because I want to talk about a situation that things, everything's changed just in the past few days. As far as I'm concerned, I'm going to explain what these changes are. It's got to do with things that are happening over in Eastern Europe. Now, these changes, I'm not going to talk about them here on YouTube. I'm going to talk about them on my Patreon channel. The changes that have happened in the past few days. But it's changed the outlook. So what I'm going to talk about on this show is the outlook for the financial system because of these changes, these radical changes that have happened in Eastern Europe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the changes in Eastern Europe, radical changes on the Patreon channel. So tune into my Patreon channel. Listen, the Patreon channel is only a dollar per month. I've set it up that way, really cheap. It helps support my channel. And I'm going to leave the link in the description. You just go over there and you can join. And you can join, you can watch all the videos over there. Uh, I post quite a few, and I'm going to be posting more. And uh, listen, guys, so these changes are radical, and what's going to happen is radical. So now I'm going to talk about what's going to happen because of these changes over and over and what's happening in Europe right now. And uh, the effect... I'm going to talk about the effect on our financial system. It's going to be quite profound. And the effect is going to be on the dollar. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to bring you guys a little bit up to date on a lot of the things I've talked about over the years, right now. And one of the things I'm going to bring you up to date on is my forecasts. Going back for five, six years ago. I was forecasting what's happening over in Ukraine five, six years ago. I was forecasting. I, I, I pegged it exactly what was going to happen. And I got a lot of flack from it. People have said, oh, no, that'll never happen. Russia will never do that. This is a, but they said, stick to the financial system. Don't talk about geopolitics. You got Russia all wrong. You got everything all wrong. And it, it happened. It transpired exactly like I said. But you know, that's not. There's an awful lot of other things that have happened that I forecast on my channel. One is a homelessness crisis. And you know what I'm here to tell you guys is it's going to get a whole lot worse, the homelessness crisis. The homelessness crisis. And I forecasted about three years before it started. I was forecasting it on my channel. And I got it pegged exactly. But it's not over. And this is what I'm here to tell you right now is it's going to get a lot worse because of what's going to happen and what I'm forecasting today. Now, about COVID, when COVID wasn't even here, there wasn't even one person in America that had COVID. It was only in China. And the World Health Organization at that point in time was saying very clearly that it was not passed from human to human, but it was only passed to animals to humans. And they were saying it's no, like, they they were, it wasn't a big deal yet. And I was telling everybody out here, hey, this is going to be a big deal. This is going to be a train wreck. Those are the words I used to describe it. And it was. So oftentimes I'm ahead of the curve. I've been ahead of the curve, but one of the things about me is is my timing sometimes is very much off. But I get my forecasts correct. It's just the timing. I've never been good on timing. And you know, I'm going to put my neck on the line a little bit today, and I'm going to I'm going to give the timing again. It's like I can't help it. I I end up trying to time these events, but my forecasts they come true. But it's just the timing's off. But anyway, what's coming now down the pike is possibly one of the biggest things that you've experienced so far in all of these troubles that we've had going back to 2020 when we started to enter into this era of what we call interesting times. 
where the weather has been going crazy and the you know what you know what you guys have been through you've been through an awful lot in the past few years but I'm to, here to tell you that some of the biggest stuff hasn't happened yet and like like the homelessness crisis one of the things I forecast about the homelessness crisis years ago I said there was going to be homeless cities we haven't seen that yet it's coming and what I'm going to talk about this morning is why it's coming. So the effects. That's what I'm going to talk about right now is the effects of what's coming. Probably this summer. Told you I was going to put my neck on the line a little bit, and I am. I'm thinking it's coming this summer, maybe early fall. It's going to hit. And you guys better be prepared. It's going to be like nothing you've ever seen. You've got to get divested of the dollar. You, and what I mean by that is, not just the dollar, but all of the fiat currencies. The Swiss franc, Great British pound, uh, Canadian dollar, it uh, doesn't matter. All of the fiat currencies, the euro, it doesn't matter. All the fiat currencies, the Japanese yen, all of them that make up the dollar basket. Because that's, that's what makes up the DXY is a dollar basket. You got to get out of all of them. They're all going to sink. What's happening in Europe right now that I'm going to talk about on my Patreon channel th today because I don't want to talk about it here on YouTube. But it's going to have a profound effect upon the dollar. And it's coming very very soon. Maybe my timing's not quite right. Like I told you, I'm putting my neck on the line trying to time it. I'm say thinking this summer or fall. It might take a bit longer, a little bit longer, because I generally, all, but who knows? I mean, with my timing, with my bad record on timing these things, maybe it'll come sooner, <laughs> you know? But it's coming. Make no mistake about it. This is coming. You've got, you've got to get divested out of the dollar. And you say, well, Glenn, how do you get divested out of the dollar? Well, did you know that your portfolio... That's if you're if you're if you've got a financial portfolio, and a lot of a lot of people that watch my show do have a financial portfolio. Most of the things in there are paper assets. They're connected to paper financial products. This is a debt-based system. What we call money is created from debt, and. You know, there's lots lots of what we call money out there or liquidity out there in the system as long as they keep expanding the debt. Right now, they're shrinking the debt. Yes, I know that a lot of people are out there saying, oh, inflation's running away and everything. But right now, the, the Federal Reserve is withdrawing $95 billion a month of liquidity from the system through quantitative tightening. And they're also raising interest rates, which reduces the amount of debt that the system, people, you know, when interest rates even go up a fraction, what happens is, is lending tapers off really rapidly. And so does the outstanding amount of monetary supply that the liquidity starts to dry up very rapidly. And we're seeing the effects of this. But there's a lag here. There's a lag that comes from what the Fed's doing right now doesn't translate into real problems for a few months down the line. So we're going to see the effects of what they did a few months ago coming in our future. This lagging effect. So we're headed toward a financial crisis. We're headed toward a crash, boom, finance. The whole thing's going to just pow. It's going to hit suddenly when it hits. And then the reverse of that is the Fed's going to have to change directions. And they're going to have to start boosting the system again, massively. Well, we're not completely over the inflation we already had. So right now we're heading into this terrible period of stagflation. And we're heading into this terrible period right now uh, where liquidity is draining out of the system. No, People don't have money to buy things, but yet prices are increasing. What a terrible period we're in right now. But I'm here to tell you things are going to change. And it's going to happen rather rapidly when it happens. 
we're facing a 2008 type style crisis directly ahead and then we're facing an intervention by the Federal Reserve on the other side of that which is going to send inflation absolutely skyrocketing we're we're facing nothing less than the end of the petrodollar and this is the effects of what's happening in Europe right now so like I say join my patreon channel links in the description when I do the show this afternoon or tomorrow morning on what is the problems in Europe that are triggering this and it's actually very simple you just have to put one when, when you listen to what I have to say about this on patreon you'll say hey Glenn's right Glenn's got this pegged this is this is going this way it's a ferocious situation that we're facing and you've got to have your gold you've got to have your silver you've got to have assets that are out of the dollar based system and you got to start to do it now things that are real and tangible even if it's sports cars or paintings or anything that is not affected by the loss of purchasing power of the fiat currencies the dollar and all the other fiat currencies because they are going to lose purchasing power like you've never seen before and this is going to be a very rapid process that's coming up and this is going to be the effect and there's very few ways out of the dollar and out of these fiat currencies so that what you own and what you hold is something real and tangible things like land things like the best is things like silver and gold and, and, and things that are uh, that they can't take away from you things that things that have real qualifiable value and don't have any counterparty risk within the system see all your portfolio uh, you know and I talked about this earlier your portfolio is all full of counterparty risk if the system starts to collapse if the banking system starts to collapse they can just tell you no they can tell you you can't have your money because they're holding your money this is what counterparty risk is you have to hold it to own it you have to keep it in your pocket now I know I've been preaching this for a long time and I know that this has taken a long time I've started years ago telling you guys about this and we've seen an awful lot of price manipulation over the years by by the big players out there four big bullion banks have been gouging the price and they've, they've also they've been gouging the price of cryptos too and cryptos is another way out of the dollar based system but you know and you know the crypto market is going to heat up after a while again too but gold and silver we're talking about a rocket ship to the moon we're talking about an asset class that's the purest form of liquidity and you know this is all a game that they've been playing with you guys where they've been getting the premium so high on gold and silver that you guys say hey you know that's not a good deal really because I have to pay the premium and then if I go to sell it I don't get my premium back they've been playing that game with you because they don't want you to hold those asset classes There's a reason for that. I've had my little talk with you guys. And I know I haven't explained why this is going to come so soon. But you have to tune into the Patreon channel to find out why. And and it, I'm not being mean. It's just that YouTube, certain things, they, they're very sensitive about you talking about on here. You know? And so that's why I'm going to talk about them on Patreon instead. Um... Uh, sensitive subjects anyway listen guys let's get into the markets right now and let's take a look let's take a look at the silver price starting with the silver price today at 2409 it's down 18 cents uh gold today gold is at 1913 is down seven dollars on the day so far cryptocurrencies today we're looking at 977 billion uh, almost a trillion again. It's almost cracked above a trillion again. Uh, 20,814 for Bitcoin. And Ethereum is at 1539. So 
you know, you could have had Bitcoin at, at 16,000. All they had oper plenty of opportunity there. Uh, myself, I didn't know. I thought it might go a bit lower than 16,000, but it seems to, it could still yet. Because we are facing a, this is a, this asset class right here is, is a, uh, is a risk on asset class. And we're facing a 2008 style event. And you know what they do is they sell their, their, their risk on asset classes very, very quickly to try to pay off things they owe, you know, in, in a, in a crisis. So we could not have not seen the lowest of the low for cryptocurrencies as of yet, but it's starting to heat back up a little bit again. Uh, taking a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average today, and we're looking at uh, 112 points to the upside. Uh, if we take a look now at the uh, at the S&P 500, we're looking at 15 points to the upside. So the markets are pretty stable right now. Uh, I'm going to take a look now at crude oil. Crude oil is 79.21. It's down 65 cents on the day so far. Now, bonds and rates. We're looking at rising yields today. We're up, uh, we're up on the 10-year. We're up 5.1 basis points at, uh, at 3.49. And the U.S. 30-year is up 3.5 basis points at 3.6. So we're staying under that 4% mark. Uh, you know, but we're still above the mark of 3.25 that I talked about for years. And that means anytime you're above 3.25, you're in a, that, that area where you could get a, a sudden downturn in the markets. Very steep sudden downturn in the markets. I've been predict predicting for quite a while that the baseline is going to be 26,000 on the Dow. And then the Fed's going to react. That's the that's what I consider the baseline where they where they will react and and uh, and uh, we could get down to that rather suddenly when we get this steep fall in the Dow that I'm expecting at a certain point. Anyway, guys, uh, let's take a look now at uh, at the U.S. dollar index at 102.37. It's been steadily dropping over the last period of time. Uh, Let's take a look here at uh, a year. And you see we saw the peaks here at around 114. And it's been steadily dropping. Now we're down to 102. That's quite a large drop from 114 down to 102. But, you know, I'm going to tell you what the, uh, what the cascading waterfall effect, I'll call it. Will hit at 70, below 70 on the DXY. And if you believe it can't get that low, yes, it can. And it, and it can drop really fast if it goes below 70. Anyway, listen, guys, thank you for listening to my show. Like and subscribe. And uh, remember, uh, get hooked up on the Patreon for only a dollar a month, you know. And uh, we'll be putting some information on there this afternoon. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll catch you guys in the next show. Bye-bye.